Are slam cars safe? Are eyebrows facial hair? Which letter is silent in scent? There are often questions that leave us bewildered and often asking more questions. And if you're stuck on the other two questions I just asked you, you're just gonna wanna pause the video, think about it, come back, drop a comment, and we'll see which one you got right. I would urge you not to Google though if eyebrows are actually facial hair because you're gonna get some weird results. Either way, I'm Alex from Fitment Industries, Alex at a fine. Today we're gonna be talking about if slammed cars are actually safe. Boom. That's the buildup, because I went up with my voice. That's about as exciting as I'm gonna get. Hope you're ready. There, nerds, let's learn. Which, by the way, if you're interested in winning a free set of wheels, Koenig wheels to be specifically, check the description link below. Picking up one of the gnarly tees gets you entered in to win a free set of Koenig wheels, plus we're donating to the ASPCA, because we like puppies and kitties. And if you haven't seen Dakota's dog, you're missing out. I think the dog is actually prettier than Dakota, if that's saying anything. So, his name is Kia. Her name is Kia? Is that what it is? It's Kai. Oh, is it her? Yeah. Okay. Her name is Kai. Everybody say hello to Kai. If you're not interested in free wheels, you can actually check out all the other stuff that we actually have. You know, the things that we sell. I'll just keep doing videos like this. Uh, aftermarket wheels, tire suspension at fitmintindustries.com. We used to tell all the models at SEMA that we were from Fitment Industries and they kept calling it Fitbit. It didn't help us at all in terms of brand recognition. Moving forward, slammed cars are a rare breed. When we talk about slammed cars, we're usually talking about the ones you'll often find on the ground, static, or just straight coilover setups. You can slam a car on air, but at the end of the day, you can just raise that bad boy up, which is like cheating. You don't actually need to have any sort of worry with that sort of application, so we're not really gonna count it for this specific video. You know what I'm saying? Slam static cars found refuge in the drifting and international Japanese car scene. For drifting, it was, well, it was honestly style points, and there's a couple of things that went into it too, but nothing looks better than a properly static car going sideways in a plume of beautiful white smoke. It can be any color, but it just happens to be white. For the Japanese culture, it was all about the style and excess. Car shows in Japan would often find slam cars that took inspiration from the shops of Liberty Walk, RWB, Rocket Bunny, and all that sort of good stuff, which they've been cutting stuff up for like four decades by now. Most trends in the USA actually do start overseas first. It just didn't take long for slammed car styling to follow suit to the country that bleeds red, white, and blue. Over time, the slamming became more extensive and we found our good old Jasper sending his E36 on the rough roads of Milwaukee over bridges and cracking fenders on the way. And it was, it was neat until it wasn't because then he posts a sad boy status every once in a while. And then he'd go back to being happy, which was great. And then he'd break something again and he'd go back to being sad. It was like being in a relationship. It was painful to watch. The moment slam cars became a thing, people began to question its safety and legitimacy in the car culture. After all, it did look a little odd when you would pull into a parking lot and just destroy your front bumper on the way through. So that's why it really starts to beg the question, uh, are they safe? Slam cars feature a plethora of variables that don't exist in your typical lowered vehicle. First, everything is way closer to the ground, which makes you a bit more vulnerable. Someone slams their BMW and not moments later, their oil pan decides it no longer wants to be a part of the car and would rather hang out next to a pothole to chat about life, which has happened way too many times. Not only that, but the slammed vehicle itself physically requires more work to get through inclines and declines, often resulting in the also popular videos of them getting stuck on their way into a parking lot and or slash over a speed bump. But that doesn't necessarily just mean that they're unsafe. Maybe just a little bit uh, less functional. Except for any beautiful sunny weather, uh, you're gonna have to deal with a lot of inclement weather issues, which is also kind of have a tendency to make your vehicle really unsafe. In Wisconsin, we only get nice weather like every three to five months. A slam car in any type of an inclement weather, especially rain, can, uh, can be unsafe. Hydroplaning can happen easier as water has a more difficult time escaping from the car's driving path since you know, half of it uh, is rubbing against your fender liner and the other half isn't touching the ground because you gotta get the fitment, the good old things that they say. And if you gotta get the fitment and the camber to what you want, a lot of times your tires can't actually do their full function job, which if you're putting it into rain, you're gonna ultimately hydroplane a lot easier. Loss of traction will commonly occur more often on a slammed static car, plus the change geometry of the lower car can ultimately affect how the car behaves entirely. Slam cars generally have more dangers when compared to a standard lower car on some normal coilovers. All your junk is closer to the ground. It's harder to drive on imperfect roads, which is painfully all the time around these areas of the good old Wisconsin weather. And if you live anywhere that has four seasons, you're probably just gonna have a bad time. But if you're the only one that has three seasons, 
you're a lucky dog and I want to move there. But hey, just like everything else, when it comes down to cars, you're not really, I mean, some people just don't really want to do it for function. They just kind of want it to look really cool. And you know what, what? you do you, boo boo. You just do whatever you want. But just like everything else, you kind of just have to be safe, you know, smart, and just uh, be more careful if you drive a slam car and you'll probably be okay. You may get stuck. You may not be able to make it over that speed bump but you'll look really good while you're waiting for a buddy to come help push you over the speed bump, which is the good thing about it, right? I mean, everything's gotta have an upswing. So what are your thoughts? Are they unsafe or are just people being too safe and whining about pointless stuff because it doesn't even matter and we live in 2019 and social media has now just become that sort of thing? You can let us know in the comment section below. Otherwise, let us know what you'd like us to talk about next in the comment section below. That would be super duper great. And if you're interested in aftermarket wheels, tires, or suspension for your slammed car or non-slammed car because you prefer function over form or form over function, you feel free to do so at fitmentindustries.com. We got it all. And of course, if you're looking to pick up a t-shirt to get entered and win a free set of wheels, that is over also at fitmanindustries.com. I'm Alex. We hope you enjoyed the video. We will see you later. Peace.